Hello and welcome back to Steven Plays Earthbound. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and today I'm playing my favorite game ever, Earthbound. The stats... Ness is level 18, he's got 152 health, he's got 50 psychic points, and he's got a little ways to go to the next level. Paula's really getting right up there, because uh, at the beginning of last episode she hadn't even fought anybody yet, never been in a battle, and she's already level 13. So things are going well, I believe. We, uh, we just got back to Tucson. Last episode, we came over from Happy Happy Village, and we saw our parents, and now we are going to head over to Bergland Park, because we were asked by Mr. Everdred to bring Paula over there. So let's see what he wants. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accepted, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil Manny Manny statue that Liar Exaggerate unearthed and on it. I'll see you at another time, in another space. Paula got the water bills. Is, that Mr. is Mr. Everdred really, really cre creepy and strange? Yes, absolutely. That is why he is one of the best characters in Earthbound. <laughs> he shows up very randomly. Alrighty, now we have... Do, 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 do. Water bills, a bundle of brand new crisp bills. $10,000. What should we do with $10,000? Well, I've got an idea. Let's head up here. Hey, you came with Paula. Then you deserve a present, playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get into our shows with this. Paula got the backstage pass. You're with a girl today. You must be pretty popular. How about introducing her to my bandmate? He's right over there. Well, I already did that, so uh, let's head inside. Right after a photo opportunity. Boom, boom, ding. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Man, I'm going to say that so many times during this play, this, this Let's Play. Anyway. I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. You want to see Poochiefoot, the manager? Right through this door, please. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> well, it just so happens that I happen to have this wad of bills. Pardon? You want to talk about money? How about later, after the show, even if we're talking big bucks? I've got definite rules about how I handle my money matters. So this is the manager. He is currently holding the Runaway Five, which is uh, the prominent band in Eagle Land in the Earthbound world. He's holding them, I don't want to say ransom, but he's got them in a contract loop where they're going to be playing at this theater forever. We've got some money that could potentially bail them out, but the first thing we got to do is apparently watch the show. So that's what we're going to do. Hello, please present your ticket. Wow, it just so happens I have this backstage pass. Here you go, hurry. You're just in time to see the Runaway 5 show. In I go. Now the dialogue for some of these characters is some of the best in the game, so please excuse me as I talk to nearly all of them. Or all of them. They seem too proud. I mean, they just filled up this little music hall after all. Well, well. I got a little kid here talking to me like he's an adult. I give you one thing. You got guts, kid. I came here because it's tough to get in, but I'm kind of disappointed. There are no good-looking waitresses, and there's no room for me to show off my latest dance moves. Hey, you kids. How did you get kick it? Kickets? How did you get tickets? What are you, the owner's kids or something? You know, I think it's pretty tacky to entertain our company's business partner by taking him to a Runaway 5 show. But since I'm new to the company, I better just toe the line. My boyfriend lost the ticket that I gave him. He's waiting outside the entrance. He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. That was that guy we saw earlier. Most memorable line ever. Hey, 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 don't get too close to me. I just farted. <laughs> Sorry. When I sit close to the stage, sometimes I get sweat or spit on me from the Runaway Five. Seeing the Runaway Five on stage is my life. 
You kids are bouncing around talking to everyone. It's getting annoying. The Runaway Five are going to be a world-famous band someday. Do you like baseball? Uh, yeah. I knew it! Your cap gave it away. La 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 la. I just love ragtime. La la me me. I'm tone deaf. My daughter brought me here. Ba la la me. A young fan like you really gets into the Runaway Five's music? Wow, I'm impressed. And finally... Lucky if the Runaway Five told me I could go backstage. Lucky is one of the band members. But I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you, please, please, please? I could pose as your sister. Yes? This rocks. Let's go. Ooh, my heart is pounding. And now we're backstage for the band. Hey, you get to see our show, you lucky kid. I hope you pay attention. I want some bread. I need the coinage. I want more dough all the time. I wrote the lyrics to most of the Runaway 5 songs. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. Money is what we ain't got, except freedom, freedom, freedom is what we really sought. Well, yeah, in the old days, there were lots of dancers and acts at this theater. Except now, we're the only act playing here. We even gone into debt here, so we're pretty near stuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. The folks of Tucson will enjoy the Runaway 5 show for quite a few years, it looks like to me. Shabba doo wop diddly dee da. Shabba dee doo boop bop bop ba wah. I got those debt blues. Mm hmm. If I had $10,000, I could pay off my debts and move on to the next town. I wonder if our bus still runs. It may be rusted out. I'm so excited, I might just wet myself. My heart is going pitter patter. So now that we've spoken to everyone, it's time to enjoy the show. Yeah, that's right! Tonight, you got the Chaos Theater Soul Men coming at you, rocking and rolling live on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest bluesmen, the Runaway Five, and here they come, oh yeah, baby! <laughs> That was a wonderful show. Actually, uh, fun fact, when I was a kid, um, I had a save point right before that, and I would watch that show, like, several times, and dance. Oh, pardon me. Some of you think that's crazy. Well, think it's crazy, I don't care. Now we can show this guy our water bills. Yipes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course, and now the Runaway Five are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ow! This means we can get out of this dump. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. Alright, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? The Runaway Five are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Well, that sounds awesome. Uh, okay. The way things are right now, this music playing, um, there will be no enemies that spawn. I'm pretty sure that that, that happens now and not just later. Oh, I, I might have spoiled some stuff. Whatever. Um, as of right now, I'm pretty sure, uh, no enemies will spawn and this music will play no matter where you are. Which is pretty cool. Let's go to three. Our tour bus is too loud for any ghosts to bother us. You want to ride? Yeah. Oh yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. 
So at this point we can enter the bus and we will be transported to Threed. Now we want to make sure that we are absolutely done here in Tucson because we will not be coming back for a while. I think we're done. Let's go to Threed. Okay guys, here we go. Hey Sidewalk, get out of my way. Sorry. This is my jam. I, I really, really love this game. I never even walked all the way down here. There's like a present somewhere over here. Probably see it. There it is. <laughs> oh, this game. My childhood. This game is my childhood. Into the tunnel we go. Now, I never took the uh, the bus earlier, but if you take the bus, it gets... It starts just how we're going now, except the, the ghosts continue to build up. And after you get about four ghosts, the screen goes black, and then you're transported back to Tucson. But now we've made it to Threed. Threed Town. In the Japanese version, it's known as Threek, with a K. Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light it. I'm sure you can light the place with your own little brand of sunshine. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us to be singing at some theater in Foreside. There they go. And uh well, welcome to Threed. Threed is pretty dangerous, and Threed freaked me out as a kid, but I guess everything scares you when you're a kid. Nest I ground in the trash. Well, let's see. Just garbage. Aw. Well, the first stop is always the drugstore. Welcome to the automatic teller machine. Please select transaction. Withdrawal. 1900 bucks. That's pretty good. Go ahead and grab all that. Hello there. Ooh. Looks like Ness really wants that minor leak back. And Polly can get a thick fry pan. Ness really wants a hard hat. And, of course, they're already both equipped with copper bracelets. Um, the first thing we actually need to do... Hold on. Is sell. Because Ness has got too much crap on him, unfortunately. Uh, what can we get rid of here? Um, well, we could give Paula something. In fact, it probably would make a little more sense, too. Paula has more use for the PSI Carmel than Ness does. At least right now. Now, with that in mind, we can buy some of this stuff. Minor leak back for Ness. It's Christmas for Ness. Selling the Sandlot Bat. And let's buy a thick fry pan for Paula. Equipping it. Buying the regular fry pan, because she doesn't need it anymore. And then buying Ness that hard hat. Aw, $300 hard hat. Must be made of gold. Buying the home set. There we go. Get you anything else? Uh, no, I'm good. And the money we have left is 1111. So we're going to go ahead and deposit. 1, 1, 1. I always hold on to a dollar. It's just, just my rules. Okay. Now we are in Threed. Um, and you're probably saying, well, so what's what's the deal with Threed? What's, what's going on in Threed? Threed is infested with zombies. Yes, zombies. Uh, probably the most notable thing about Threed is that they have a circus. So I think that's what we're going to do first is head into the circus and talk to some folks. The zombies are slowly advancing toward the tent. Everyone, I repeat, the zombies are on the move. I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. Why don't we all get the zombies in this tent and then set it on fire? We may all get munched before we have a chance to do anything. How can we defeat the zombies? Oh, I, I just don't know. So zombies are an issue. There are zombies, and they're an issue. Uh, there's also some other various enemies around the world. The hotel. $60 per night for a single room. Ugh, that's expensive. Now the first thing we're going to do, hopefully, if we can, if we can survive, this is because this is this is hard. Oh, ghosts! We gotta make our way 
to the upper part of the graveyard. There's a high chance we could die. This is hard. Oh my god, that's a lot of flies. They're zooming around. Okay, if I can avoid them. There we go. This is a good run. This is a good run. You're doing well. Yes, awesome. We want to come up here where the... Crap. Three? Okay, that sucks. Came out of nowhere. No good fly. Drop my guts by four. Attack Nest for 11 damage. And drop Paula's guts by two. All right, we need to take these guys out. Let's, uh, actually... Let's just go ahead and rock on them. A, ro a combination of rocking and fire. That should, that should clear them up pretty quick. So they're not gonna. They're not gonna be very happy about that. So as long as they don't kill Paula. Eleven damage. That's not bad. Twenty-two damage is worse, but whatever. Taking out these no good flies. Did not work on no good fly. See. Okay. Well, whatever. Taking out the fly. There we go. Now, when we make our way up here to the uh, top part of the uh, graveyard, there's going to be two zombies on guard. He stares into your soul. He looks you over. Okay. You can see past them is a, uh, is a, a tunnel, a uh, ladder that leaps, leads down into a tunnel. Oh, crap. And we have to make our way back into town. Um, why is it important? Oh, jeez, there's a lot of enemies. Why is it important that uh, we did that? Well, you'll see when the time comes, which will be soon. Just gotta make it back. Come on, come on, come on. No enemies, no enemies. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yes, excellent. We're gonna come back to the hotel and... Oh, hey there. How are you? There seems to be a hooker in front of the hotel. Being the 13-year-old boy I am, I think I will follow her. The music seems screwed up, and there's no one behind the front desk, yeah, but nothing can go wrong. Hey, lady, come here! So, we're gonna follow this strange woman of the night into her hotel room, and... Oh, snap. I think we uh we just got beat up by some zombies and ghosts. Uh oh, you're you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? All right, we're awake. Good deal. Okay, so a door. The door is locked. Well, that's not good. I'm calling out to you who I've never met. I'm calling our friend who we've never met. Jeff! Jeff, we need your help. I am Paula, and I'm with another friend, Ness. We're trying to contact you. So Paula is sending her uh, telekinetic messages to Winters, a small country to the north. And in Winters is this place. Snowwood Boarding House. I am Paula, and I am with another friend, Ness. We're trying to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you, though far away, can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Jeff! You are a friend who we've never met, but you are our one and only hope. What? <laughs> what the crap was that? Jeff, where are you going in the middle of the night? You know the dorm rules, right? If you get caught, you'll get punished big time. What's wrong, Jeff? Alright, there must be some reason that I don't understand. I won't stop you. But it's dangerous to leave without taking anything along. Hey, I think there's some stuff in the locker room that you should get. I'll help you get out of here. Tony joined you. Alright, I am Jeff. I'm the blonde kid with glasses who apparently sleeps with a suit on. Don't ask me why. I've got two bucks, 30 HP, and zero PP. 
zero psychic points, and the reason is because Jeff isn't psychic. Uh, Ness and Paula possess supernatural abilities, but Jeff does not. He was not blessed with that. Uh, to make up for it, he has an unusually high IQ count, which can't be seen right now because he's level 1. Uh, but he is able to repair things and make really cool weapons. He's got a big bottle rocket on him. Uh, fires a fast, powerful bottle rocket gun after one use. It also does about 300 damage. Uh, some health refilling items, or item, boiled egg. Some other crap we can't really use in a uh, broken item. Uh, you're going to get broken items for Jeff throughout the adventure. Uh, you hold on to the broken item, and then once Jeff's IQ is high enough, he will repair it whenever you sleep at night. Whenever you spend the night in the hotel, he'll repair all the broken items. So that's pretty cool. And I already looked at his status. And this is Snowwood Boarding House, which we will explore in detail next episode. Thanks for joining me. My name is Stephen George, in case you forgot. And if you forgot, then how did you forget? Because the name of the channel was Stephen Plays. <laughs> um, once again, thanks for watching. Please tune in next time when we will go through Snowwood Boarding House. We will escape from Snowwood Boarding House. And we will do our best to make sure that Jeff can safely meet up with Ness and Paula and save them. Thanks for watching.